Hi, friends. God is known by His fruit. That's right. You see, in Luke 6.43, Jesus told us a tree is known by its fruit. In Galatians 5.22, we are shown the fruit God produces. Since God is known by His fruit, we can deduce that this is who God is. The nine fruits of the Spirit define Him. His fruit includes love, joy, and peace. We've already spoken about peace and love in previous messages, so let's address the fruit of joy here. You see, God is a joyful God. Hebrews 1.9 NLT tells us Jesus had joy more than anyone else, and the voice of joy is laughter. Jesus once sent his disciples ahead of him to cross the sea in a boat. He knew he would catch up to them simply by walking on the sea. But he had something more in mind. Mark 6.48 tells us he came toward them walking on the sea, and he wanted to pass them by. Did you catch that? Jesus walked close enough to the boat that they would see him, but he didn't intend to get in the boat. He intended to pass them and beat them to the other side. Jesus intended the moment to be one of unforgettable joy as the disciples saw their Lord rushing with the waves beneath him. He was racing his disciples, and he would have won that race had they not become frightened and caused him to alter his plans. Our God is a God of joy. Godspeed, my friends. Have you ever wondered what God is like? At times he's been depicted as a malicious and overbearing dictator, and other times as an uninvolved and impersonal force. Some say we can't put God in a box. He's too mysterious, too unpredictable. Sometimes it seems that the Bible has already placed God in the box of mystery and unpredictability. But if we connect all the dots the Bible presents, we actually can find the box that God fits into. And we might be very surprised when we clearly see the God who fits into that box.